guys, I've, I've got some red-tipped romaine lettuce that I'm looking at here. Um, and then I've got, I was giving you the brand name, so I got this mixed lettuce. It's a very nice red one. More, uh, more uh, green lettuce. Some more of this. You're saying, you're looking out there and you're seeing snow and it's January and you're saying, what are you doing, Rob? Uh, yep, I'm going to plant them uh, because I can germinate them and I'm going to. We get a stretch of warm weather coming. It's January, but it doesn't matter. When they're covered, the temperature underneath that cover could rise as much as 20 degrees. When they give me about a 22 or 23 degree canopy, which would germinate those seeds. Bye. So. And here we are, back, I got two more canopies. Uh, these are cake toppers, I've been saving them for good reason. I've used these to germinate seeds before. Usually I start in March, but hey, we got an opportunity. We got some warm weather coming up and we are gonna take advantage of this opportunity. So bear with me while I get these seeds ready. What are you doing, they said preparing my garden bed yeah. I'm holding the camera with one hand and raking with the other once I get my GoPro and all that stuff we'll all be good so that soil's loosened up I don't need it anymore in that so what I kind of want to do I want to plant in that area with that loose soil over there so I've got this seed here this is red lettuce the sprinkling that and pretty liberally you say what should I do should I water that well yes you would at this point but you don't water it much during the winter because obviously you'll end up with issues so we're gonna plant the other ones I'm just gonna cap this right now okay so we know that's the defined area of this particular group of lettuce the red lettuce and I'm gonna plant the I think I'll plant the romaine. Anyway, bear with me. I'm back with the red tipped romaine. Now we're gonna give that a sprinkle. And spread those seeds. Ooh, there's an awful lot of seeds there, but I'll just do this. No harm there. That soil's fairly moist. I do not believe I'm gonna have to uh water them. So I'm just gonna put the topper on. I'm confident that this will work, so I'm not even concerned. Ah. What I might do here is I might put a little rock on the top of these so that the wind doesn't blow these away. <clears throat> Neat little experiment. Magically, two stones appeared. Well, here we go. I'll take that stone. That's a pretty stone. I'll put it on there. All right. And I'll put this one on there. And they're just going to serve to hold these, these in place. And might want to insulate that a bit around the corners. But nothing too serious. I'm worried about the other one. So there you are. All right. Got a romaine lettuce here. And you're saying where did this magically come from? Well, actually, it's a, I got a nub from a romaine lettuce from the store, uh, and uh, we were done with the romaine, so I just stuck the nub in uh, water, and it sprouted, and I stuck it in the ground, and I just forgot about it. We were doing an episode on lettuce right today, and uh, I'm going to take and, uh, I'm going to take this out here, and we're going to uh, give it a new home behind the house here. See the sun? Alright. That's a January sun, guys. So, uh, basically, I'm just gonna... I guess I'll just stick it here. And then I'm gonna get a lid, frost cover, and you'll see that. And I'll go over top of that. And that's where that's gonna live. And we'll see how it gets through the winter, okay, guys? So, I'll just take a break, and we'll come right back. 
Well, here we are back at the frost covers again. There's my coffee. Um, these um, are variable. You can adjust the temperature in there. You can open up those little finger holes. So that's kind of nice for venting. These were a $2.50 Canadian at a dollar store around here. So that's going to go on top of that uh, lo mein list that we were looking at earlier. So I'll take that over there. And with the magic of camera work, we won't have to walk. We'll just show up. We're going to teleport. One minute, please. Voila. Let us under glass. Sur la glace. For our francophone friends out there, lots of francophones in our beautiful country, beautiful people in our beautiful country. Those are, I'm wondering what those are. I might, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm off topic here. I just, I, I might put a rock or something on there. I don't know, I'm not happy. I'm going to do some bracing of some sort. Hmm, I'm thinking. And that's when I'm in most dangerous. I think I'm going to take... There's a rake on the ground. Not a safe place to put it. Let's see if we got this brick here. Cinder block. And I'm going to place it. Woo. That's why you put your toys away. See on the lip there? And uh, shouldn't be a problem. That should do the job. Also reflect some heat too. Here we go, Romaine under glass. The camera's pretty steady right now. Okay. You can see those seeds, they're very tiny. So I'm just gonna kinda, you can see we got wild as here, like dandelions. Don't want that variety in this garden, but dandelions are very good for you, make no mistake. Okay, so we just sprinkle along like this. I'll show you the rows after. We're sprinkling it along. We're going to thin it out a little later. Okay. There we go. Put some more. So this here row, excuse me. We don't uh, last I saw we don't need rocks. Okay. So we're going to cover that over lightly. Let all this. It's supposed to get rain in a couple of days, or actually tomorrow, but not a lot. So I'm going to probably redo this one. Next, we have Buttercrisp. That's going in there. Butter Crunch. big handful that's what they look like and I'm just gonna proceed just by simply doing this these seeds are way too small to be too fussy about so we're to try and dig out your regular old dandelions And that's done. Just simply lightly covering these is not a bad idea. Just gently pack it down. Remember these little buggers. These are your natural lettuces and they're they actually have more nutrition in them than traditional lettuce. Dandelions are your friend and yet we spend lots of time killing them for some reason or other. So we're gonna go and plant the romaine now that it was donated to me by Mr. Paul Clamo, who's an excellent gardener and good gardening buddy. I highly recommend you check out his channel. All right, so we can see we got a little issue here with dandelions. I didn't do a very good job prepping this one up. I'll probably have to do a little more digging eventually. I don't like to get too fancy. I find if you get too fancy, the fun of it is all gone. Okay. So relatively speaking, we're prepared. These are going to space out a little bit further. Here we go. 
you gotta get those tap roots out. And then, oh, we had another one. We got that one out. They're one of the first things up in the spring. There we go. Some of these will make it and some of them won't. No big deal. We're not getting too fancy about it. I'll show you the finished product in a minute. Another dandelion. I have no issues with dandelions. I just don't want them in my garden. They can go and propagate on the lawn. I'm not one of these people that kills them. I do not use chemicals on this garden. I pay a pretty heavy price. I lose a lot of vegetables, but you know what? You gotta share with nature too. So, there we go. That bed's all done and probably, there we go. So that's all packed away. Probably in about a week's time, we should have some lettuce. Bear with me. And looking to see if we got the angles right here. There. And maybe that's a little too close. We'll try that. See how that works. Okay. Oh, a little stringy here. So we're going to cut right about there. Crunch. Some hot. Very yummy. I'd imagine this is going to grow back. I really don't know. I'm, um, I'm just hypothesizing here. Romaine lettuce isn't quite ready, so I'm not going to bother with that. So I'm just going along the tops of them, just trimming them down. I don't have any spinach yet, but I will. I got some growing over there. You can put dandelion greens in here too. They're a little bit on the more of the bitter side, much more nutrition in them. But if you mix them up right, you get a good ratio. It won't be so bad. You won't get that bitter taste. And then once you put salad dressing on it or a vinaigrette you'll find that there's no problems. I'm not going to do that today because I have an abundance of lettuce, so I'm not going to... But early in the spring when you get a little bit desperate, there goes Moonbeam. Hey, Moonbeam. She's on the peach tree. <clears throat> so what you do with this lettuce is that now that you harvested before the heat of the day, you want to put this in a nice cool spot. A uh, refrigerator comes to mind. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today. Some more. There. Butter crunch. That's going to be nice. So, anyway, here's what the final product looks like. Let me get that out of the sun, of course. And here's the trim down. So we've had quite a trim down, so I imagine in a couple of days that'll all be back up again. I'm going to let some of this go to seed. I want some of the seed. Well, return look at what we've done here with the lettuce. Looking underneath the glass, and then we got the romaine over here. Seems to have uh, taken a little bit of a beat in there from last night's cool weather. We're going to watch it. Okay, so we planted these yesterday inside. Uh, no, we plant them, sorry, not inside. We plant them right here in the ground. So they are going to germinate, we hope, soon. And uh, we're going to look and transplant these in the spring. We're going to come back and take a second look after. Now, listen, guys, I was really happy to have you here again today on the lettuce episode. And uh, if you like what you see and you want to be part of it, um, look down at the lower right-hand corner. You're going to see the subscribe button. And I'd be happy to have you here in the garden with me. So if you guys want to hit that button, come join me. 
and we're going to have some fun this year. All right, until next time, my friends, we'll see you in the garden.